Good evening from Maryland Stadium in College Park. We're on the field here as Maryland falls. Well, what's that final score, Mason? 60. I don't even want to say it. Three to our rival Penn State. Uh, Mason, disappointment tonight. As bad as it could get is about all you can say, but this has brought it to a new level. This is purely unacceptable. That's a good way to look at it. I'm Wayne Viner. This is Mason, the intern for Red Turtle Productions. Bruce is away from the microphone today, this evening. Um, unacceptable is a good way to start. It didn't even seem like a game tonight. Uh, look forward to this. Well, I look forward to playing Penn State every year, but I look forward to this one, and it just wasn't even close. It didn't even look like a, didn't look like a football game. It looked like an extended practice today, Mason. Did you see anything good? No. Absolutely nothing. I and mean, you could say that they kept on fighting through it. They did. But you keep on giving up touchdowns to backups, third strings. You got a guy like Tyree Castro Fields that was going to commit to Maryland out there in his true freshman year making plays against your starters. It's just embarrassing. I have been behind this team for most of my life. And I have been here when we lost to Penn State 70-7. to and I've been here today, 66 to three. I think those are the biggest home losses in history. I was actually more angry, however many years ago that was, 30, 25, 26 years ago, when we lost 70 to seven. Um, this is the worst. Like, I, I was not angry about this game, and that is saying something, because it was just over. It started, and then it ended. <laughs> and there, was no, there was no game. You couldn't even compete with I, these I, people for for, the, minutes. for a quarter when when do we have to start questioning what this team can do if they can't compete for a quarter it's been how many years now and I have not seen one competitive quarter against the top 10 team well, not one two years it's been two years two full years this was not no this is going all the way back to the Randy years not well, well, one we, we beat Penn State we not beat one competitive quarter against a, a top good team 10 team and Texas they're well, six they and six team Okay, you might you look like a human test pattern today. You might. It's just at some level, what I've learned in my life is it is just a football game, and I'm not going to stop coming just because we don't play well. No, uh, it was a decent atmosphere. It wasn't as a decent Penn atmosphere State as I thought. I, I would say that about 70% of the people that sat around us uh, were Penn Staters. The Maryland band starts up here. We have Ellis McKinney off to our right. Let me go over what I did see that was good. Chirp Talk is brought to you by Viner Consulting, your source for point-of-sale systems that give you business control and manager inventory. Hardware, software, training, and support from NCR and Revel Systems. Call Viner Consulting at 301-251-2900 or visit us at oneviner.com. DJ Moore, still an absolute stud. The Maryland running game, even though they couldn't gain one yard a couple times, did have some flashes of brilliance. Um, boy, Brooks, number 25, he could play some ball. I liked some of what I saw from Adam McClain. Maryland was just outclassed, overrun. But I, I, I Barkley had, did not Barkley do Barkley didn't do it. No, it was McSorley. Yep, well, we giving stopped Barkley, pass, though. Giving up the pass game the way they did was bad. I mean, we had two touchdowns and they were both dropped by defensive backs and then another tipped pass dropped. I mean, it, it would have helped Okay. if they could have made one or two of those plays. How long do you think you're going to be this bad? Like five minutes. Five minutes? Well, we have to go cover the press conference. It's the last one of the year. This is the Viner Consulting post-game show here live on the field, Capital One Field at Maryland Stadium. The band plays on. The sun will come up tomorrow, and sooner or later will be National Recruiting Day, and hope will be renewed. And the Turp Talk Young Turp podcast will be recapping this whole season, and that will release tomorrow or Monday morning. Okay, I've got nothing left to say. Thanks for keeping a lid on it there, Mason. We it was will, tough. It is tough. For Not, once, it was yeah, tough. Yeah, it is. It, there's, but you don't want to overreact. You just lost one more game and, and the season's over. We'll go see what DJ Durkin has to say about this. And we will see you after Maryland takes on Purdue December 1st at 
Comcast Xfinity Center. It is basketball season, so we have that to look forward to. Good evening from College Park. You don't even know. I can make your 